uh, which is Khan. Okay, please send it to your chat box. Thank you. And BJ Dowage, you can choose your speaking order. We speak second then. Okay, so for uh, for Kong side, we have SHFLSHX, and Paul side, we have BJ Dowage CW. And Kong side goes first. Do we need to stand who is the first speaker, who's the second speaker? Uh, no, we don't need that. All right. So, we, sorry. Uh, hello, Jodis. Can we start? Is everyone ready? George, ready? Yeah. Okay, opponents ready? So our time starts now. As a concept, we firmly negate the resolution that all must technology companies use of personal data is more beneficial than harmful observations. Much of the benefit the pro is going to mention is how big data will benefit society. Judge, we will like you to distinguish big data and personal data and to focus on the security of individual data as the topic also suggested. We will also like you to pay attention to the user of personal data. It should be tech companies, but not police department or government or healthcare system framework. We also call will show you overall harm caused by personal data. Contention one, disastrous information leakage. Not every tech company cares about our privacy. After all, the part data collectors are interested in is how they can use the data to maximize their profits. In 2018 alone, 16 million Facebook users' information was leaked by hackers. A Singaporean medical blog was hacked. 1.5 million patients' personal medical data were stolen. In 2017, Equifax said that credit card numbers were about 209,000 U.S. customers were exposed. A total of 147 million people were affected. Data brokers create public information like names, home addresses, and other such sensitive tidbits. The U.S. Federal Trade Commission found that one data broker alone has 3,000 pieces of data on nearly every person in the United States. In the U.S. alone, there are up to 4,000 data broker companies. According to research by U.S. Department of Justice, in 2014, 17.6 million consumers were victims of identity theft, resulting in loss of $15.4 billion. According to Undot.org, there is also an increasing trend of data breaches being used for sex trafficking, money laundry, and black market. Contention two. Uh, governments are kicking out the poor people to build better city for the well. According to iot for allcom smart cities or mega cities are using the Internet of Things IoT, a new development of IoT and the, constructive, and the construction of infrastructure rely on data collection. Based on a comprehensive web metro study, a total of 270 cities have been made onto the list of the world's smart cities, led by London, Singapore, and Barcelona. Interestingly, those same cities also appeared at, at the top of the list of gentrifying cities in a study published on November the 6th by the Federal Reserve Bank of Cleveland. And there are more smart cities to be constructed. According to Reuters.com, in India, Prime Minister's Smart City Commission a mission aims to modernize 100 cities by 2020. The drive for smart cities has already triggered evictions of people from slums and informal settlements in cities including Indore, Delhi, and Kochi without adequate compensation or alternate uh, accommodation. Globally, according to GovThink.com, there are 33 mega cities with over 10 million residents currently being displaced by smart city construction, and that number is expected to jump to 43 mega cities by 2030. Also from OxfordResearch.com, uh, around 20 American cities like Washington, D.C. has seen a huge outflow of low-income Black residents, which reaches uh, 3.7 million people. Contention 3, dirty data. By definition, dirty data is a database record that contains errors. Dirty data can be caused by a number of factors, including duplicated data, incomplete or outdated data, and the improper parsing of record fields from personal data. Unfortunately, 67% of businesses find out their databases are consistent of dirty data when it's reported by customers or prospects. According to businessinsider.com, dirty data accounts for up to 40% of personal healthcare records. Fake credit accounts also occupy up to 34%, and dirty data cannot be cleaned thoroughly. According to white World Privacy Forum, even the best data analytics company only has a 50% accuracy rate in this data. Two impacts. First, this contributes to enormous, enormous losses. In fact, the consequence of 30 data costs the average business 
15% to 25% of revenue. And on average, tech companies cost $2 billion to deal with their data. Besides, the study from smartlogic.com shows that when the numbers of 30 data are added up, it will be difficult to know which data is an inaccurate, making companies impossibly clean. Second, false decisions. Data analytics rely heavily on the accuracy of data. With so much dirty data in the, in the database, the field of data analytics is flawed with wrong decisions. According to saleshacker.com, dirty data costs the U.S. economy $3 trillion per year, which is brought by numerous flaws and costly uh, decisions. Just as I'm saying, you can know the path when you don't know where you are. So all you are friendly on the concept. Thank you very much. Great. Can everyone hear me? Right, um, wait. Yes. Um, yes. Wait, is it possible to like set? Can you hear me? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so to that extent, is it possible to like start cons like um, constructive speech again? Because my internet locked me out and I didn't hear anything. I just came back. So, yeah. Um, so, do you want me to repeat it again or just summarize? Yeah. It? Uh, okay, wait, uh, repeat it or summarize. Okay, can you just give me your, your, your subheadings and summarize it? Like, yeah, that'll, that'll do. I can send it in the chat box to you. Okay, okay, then, yeah, do that. Okay, so for okay, you can okay. go ahead. Wait, okay. Um, Paul, you can go ahead. Okay, uh, great. All right, great. Uh, everyone hear me okay? Okay, great. All right, um, judges ready, opponents ready. My time starts now. Definition. According to the Information Commissioner's Office of the United Kingdom, personal information is defined as information that relates to an identified or identifiable individual. Furthermore, according to the EU Commissioner's Office, personal data includes, for instance, records held by hospitals or doctors, addresses, or IP addresses. Framework. Seeing today's debate is about benefits and harms, the side that wins the, today's debate should be the one that brings more practical benefits to a greater audience. Convention what? Claim. Data collection provides the fundamental to modern infrastructure. Word. As defined by the Commissioner's Office of the UK. Personal information is defined by information that relates to an identified or identifiable individual. Therefore, any information that is not anonymous does not count as personal information. This includes any personalized services and any services that require the user to leave any form of identification of themselves. Consumer-based industries such as online shopping, online payment, and banking, as well as the in the, in this, uh, entertainment industry, which provides recommendations for its users, will not exist without personal data. Furthermore, single usage of data also fall under data in today's debate. Without personal data, none of the services linked to the internet can be used by anyone, including Google, Bing, Baidu, because we've told you that IP addresses are also personal data. Since these servers work by sending specific information to a specific person, using personal data like IP addresses to correctly send information to the right person. Because an IP address is a unique identifier, it allows computers to send and receive information to and from specific computers in a given network. This also applies to things like email and social media, or personal logins enable instantaneous communication. Impact. Without personal data, most services that directly target their consumers for convenience will not even exist in the first place. More importantly, services at your fingertip, such as Google, email, WeChat, would not exist. The unprecedented spread of information and instantaneous communication allowed for immense personal benefit from the backdrop of our modern society. Connection to crime prevention. One, from fraud to terrorism and school shooting, data collection allowed governments and corporations to identify tax fraud and other crimes and prevent them from occurring. Tech companies use their personal data and artificial intelligence to comb through many people's data and understand each one of them. These tools enable social media platforms to detect certain content and understand its user, giving them the capability to identify certain users that may be harmful to society based on their activity. In the case of cybersecurity, with nearly $7 billion lost to credit card fraud in the year 2018 alone, this gives banks and credit card companies the ability to spot stolen credit cards or fraudulent purchases even before the cardholder knows that something is wrong. In the case of preventing physical crime, we're able to understand who is likely to commit a crime based on their online activities and stop these crimes before they happen. The impact. The IRS estimated that $381 billion of tax money was evaded in 2019. Forbes reported $190 billion loss to credit card fraud. User data analysis helped detect these illegal activities. For instance, Alipay launched a program where scams can be detected within seconds before the money is even taken out of the person's account. Other companies like PayPal, 
um, have often been able to cut its hot false alarms in half, protecting billions of dollars. Moreover, by identifying individuals that are more at risk of committing, uh, committing crimes and preventing them from accessing weapons, we can anticipate actions like school shooting, fraud, and even money laundering. Connection three, public health. Claim, big data can be used to improve healthcare. Where firstly, personal data from big data allows us to identify those at certain risks of diseases, reminding patients to take their medication and their follow-up appointments or to get early checkups. In the year 2009, by using personal data and targeted ad campaigns, Public Health of England was able to decrease emergency diagnosis by 25%. Secondly, with AI analysis such as IBM's Watson, the percentage of correct diagnosis and treatment drastically improved, which can lead to better treatment. Incompetent and incomplete medical histories and large caseloads can often lead to deadly human error. Immune to these variables, AI with access to personal data can predict faster and more accurately. The US Library of Medicine showed that AI had a 94% accuracy when reading sonographs, 11% higher than the best doctor in the entire world. Moreover, AI diagnosis happens almost instantaneously without verifying multiple doctors. That is very expensive. Impact, in 2015, misdiagnosed illnesses caused 10% of all US death. Harvard Business Review, uh, Harvard University found that one in five patients that go to the hospital end up worse because of mistreatment. With these AIs put in place, we can lower the cost as well as increase treatment of these people, saving millions of lives around the entire world. For all those reasons very proud to propose the motion thank you so crosswire everyone ready uh 30 seconds, thank you. All 30, right. seconds time. 30 seconds for time please Um, let's hold on a second because we noticed one of the judges seemed to be out. Let's wait for him a little bit. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, we can we can start. Everyone is back. Um. Oh, great. I believe um, you have everyone first. ready. Wait. Okay, apprentice ready. So our crossfire starts now. So I believe it's my first question. According to eight, uh, American Medical Association, cardiovascular disease is the number one killer of lives in, in America and other developed countries. So if what you talk about the use of personal data in healthcare system helps, why is cardiovascular disease still the number one cause of death? Right, the reason is because we don't use it at the moment. The reason is literally because we currently don't use these prevention measures. And we so you're talking about a theoretical thing because, because it is not in, application so, so you're we're talking about sorry sorry may i just clarify what we're telling you okay, is, that, is that first of all most most hospitals right now don't use systems like ibm's watson right because it's still we're in an experimental to... stage it's being built but yeah, we tell you that we're discussing sorry, please, all please about facts question. and a status quo we sorry, are not discussing about question. a future or may please answer your question may I please answer your question what please answer your question oh can i please answer your question yes of course we tell you that with the technology response we tell you that with the technology right now, already AI are able to interpret sonographs at 94% accuracy rate, which is 11% higher than the best doctors already, no, even, no, no, are, no. even when these systems right. haven't been implemented yet. Okay, no, now, no, 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 no. Actually, uh, according to a report of Bob Anderson, Chief National Center for Health Statistics, 40% of deaths, which is 3 million people, were attributed officially to medical errors. So how can yeah, like, these are doctors. These are doctors. Human make mistakes, data. but AI don't make mistakes as much as humans do. Wait. May I ask you a question, please? No, sorry, no. Please, what please is, ask sorry, sorry, a quick response. What is the sorry, final? Please uh, ask you. Who makes the final decision? Is the doctor or AI? AI You've is You've been just, talking like, for assistance. half of the time. Look, we tell no, you that AI. Are, your costume, look, right? we tell you that first of all, in most countries, the medical equipment's already put in place. The doctors are very unskilled. But when you use these Is measures that, that are put into place, everyone can access good healthcare, saving millions of lives each year. Now, may I please ask so you? So, how question? many lives and how? May I please like, ask how, you a question? May I please ask what? you a question? Okay, so you're talking about saving lives and how many how many lives are saved and what a specific? May I please ask you a question? Can you, sh can you show me what a spe specific disease? 
having been we tell you that right now according to harvard university study one in five patients who goes to the hospital end up getting misdiagnosed and therefore their illnesses are even worse because of this misdiagnosis by doctors because of these human errors millions of people suffer with it's ai so, this will so be you're so much better that there are may, I please, may i please yeah. ask you a question now so so you're agreeing that may i please ask you a question so you're agreeing that there are errors made by like okay, the I'll ask you a question. Data, right? You talk about Thank this point about how payment. smart cities are eventually going to get rid of all the poor people, right? However, do you understand yeah. that this issue is even going to be much worse under your side, as we've seen with white flight that occurs right now under the status quo, right? That we have already seen from the 1970s all the way until now, where white people run Sorry, off and never question? come back. No statements, okay? No, I'm saying. Do you agree that it is even worse under your side of the house? Because no, white I don't agree. Because of smart city and the application of personal data, these poor people are being displaced, and you don't care about them. Okay, thanks. Uh, forty minutes. Uh, forty seconds. Prep time. Thank you. Okay, I think. So oh, is ready, opponent's ready. My time starts now. So as the second speaker on the con side, I want to first uh, talk about our opponent's contentions. They talk about first infrastructure, second crime prevention, and third public health. I'll talk about them one by one. It's about the infrastructure. In their, in their own definition, they said about personal data is being used to identify an individual. But however, in their first condition, they are talking about IP addresses. Let's clarify what is IP address. It is an internet protocol address. It's a numerical label that is designed, designed to each device connected to a computer network that use internet protocol for communication. So judge, note for this, that IP address is, a, is actually a number for a device, for a computer, not for a person. So actually, we cannot use the computer's address to, like, to, to identify the person. So thus, the second first condition should not be taken into consideration, but the, because the whole of impact is brought by the IP address, but that should be not concluded in this debate. So let's move on to the second condition and talk about crime prevention. So here's our opponent's link. The, the, actually, the government collects personal data and, and analyze these data to find the criminals and protect crime, thus prevent crime. But there's no, actually, tech companies engagement in these things. And also, according to CPO magazines, most countries own uniform crime reporting, or UCR, combats crime with the help of participating networks and data from all levels of the government. Government also helps the technology of fingerprint identification, DNA matching, voice recognition, etc., to track the criminals. Both of the steps are done by the governments, and there's no room for tech companies. And however, in these, they tell you that it somehow this decreased the crime rates. But what they don't tell you is hidden behind this, the data is that data collection in the crime prevention realm are actually wrongly put people in jail. According to technologicalreview.com, globally, 33% of the criminals caught by the data comparison are proved to be innocent. And these innocent people are being accused for nothing because of dirty data contained in the database. Also, according to latinx.com, personal data search Latinos and African Americans more than white by 37%, and incept cars from African Americans 15% more, which aggregates the discrimination. So we see that if you are pursuing personal data, you are pursuing more discriminative like, system and harming, thus harming the people. And their third concern about the healthcare. They talk, our opponents are out of topic again because medical treatments aren't related to any tech companies but belongs to the hospitals. And also, second response, According to CNBC.com, in 2019, more than 503,000 families turned into bankruptcy each year because of healthcare. And according to InfoWeek.com, the price of each EHR and the healthcare will double or even triple after adopting personal data. So how many more families will actually bankrupt if personal data is used in the medical field? By claiming to save lives, the usage of personal data is actually slowly killing people by destroying families and making them bankrupt. Also, this will cause inequality since no one can get healthcare through a lower price. And however, a new study from New York University shows that the, actually the medical system using personal data relies on dirty data. data created from flawed, inaccurate, and sometimes unlawful practices. In fact, the run of the risks exacerbating the medical errors three times more than the common diagnosis. Our opponents claim that uh, actually uh, EHR and these kind of using personal data can solve 
uh, medical errors. But according to science, sciencebase.medicine.com, the, the number of uh, a number of med medical error deaths in 2018 are 250,000 people. But what about in 200, 2019? It is 400,000 people, which means that actually, according to the statistics, EHR and the personal data doesn't contribute to the medical error, to solving the medical errors. But in fact, because of the because of the dirty data, they're they're creating more and more medical errors instead of so solving them. Also, according to uh, the past June, Google and the University of Chicago Center were accused for falling to manage the medical records. According to fearshealthcare.com, there's 31.6 million breaches of uh, pri patient privacy in the first half of 2019. So we see that all the, these kind of uh, medical histories cannot be preserved well by the governments and uh, by the hospitals, but only but actually they're exacerbating the problems. So thank you. Um, can we please take a minute and 30 seconds of prep time? Thank you. Okay, your time is up. Uh, can we please have an extended 15 seconds, please? Thank you. Okay, judge, judge ready, opponents ready, my time starts now. So I'll first rebut other points and then start weighing, right? So first on rebutting, AI, on their point on how AI is bad. Sure, even if the data given to AI is biased or racist, at least in the long term with machine learning capabilities that enables it to perform self-correction, AI would improve and be much fairer and impartial than current policing systems or any other systems that they say is biased. One example of AI self-correction system is Google's reinforcement learning program that AI researchers are trying to encode curiosity and creativity into the machine learning systems. Both traits likely to be necessary for a machine to redesign itself in performance boosting ways. Others are working on allowing robots to share the lessons they've learned if effectively turning them into a kind of hive mind. Next, on healthcare. We make healthcare cheaper because we don't need to employ these expensive doctors. Next, on the point on data breach. They just state a fact, but they don't talk about their impact and never explain their harm, so we don't know about that, right? Next, data leaks can happen with governments and individuals anyway, not just through the data held by these tech companies. In the status quo, Facebook's case has already set a very severe precedent for privacy and data breaches by big companies as the, S as the FTC has fined them $5 billion and on top of that, enforced a list of new regulation that includes Facebook must provide clear and conspicuous notice of its use of facial recognition technology and obtain affirmative express user consent prior to any use that materially exceeds its prior disclosures to users. Second, um, 
Furthermore, on their point on how smart cities are bad, right? We tell you that smart cities are good because at least because people are increasingly open to different ways of using space, living, working, and traveling across town. Physical infrastructures for transportation, energy, and water are aging, and a wide range of innovations are in reach that can yield better infrastructures and help in the design and operation of city services. But even without smart cities, right, the people on their on pro side of, uh, on con side of the house aren't even getting compensated enough, right? Whatever they say about uh, lack of compensation and displacement, this is also happening in the status quo, and they're not defending it properly. White flight since the 1950s is even worse than these smart cities that they're talking about. Furthermore, on their point on how IP address isn't a, isn't personal data, and I'll and also while elaborating on our point on the importance of data collection, the EU commissioner's office defines IP address as personal data. So imagine on their side of the world where you don't even have IP address as personal, uh, when you don't even have IP address because you, you, because you don't have personal data, you can't, even, you can't even order food, you can't even do online shopping, you can't even do online banking because inherently this IP address is the personal data because it can identify to a specific server and a specific computer and therefore a specific person. So they can't just come up here and give a blanket statement to say that IP addresses aren't personal data because the, firstly, the EU commissioner office says this. And secondly, without IP address, on their side of the world, you, there are many things and fundamental institutions of our daily lives that we are so used to that we cannot do. So, so because, because these days, because, their, their points on data breach and how um, AI is bad do not even substantiate into any form of harm that they don't even mention, we, we strongly urge a combat ballot. Um, but moreover, we think, that, uh, we think that these smart cities uh, truly benefit these people because they integrate a new way of lifestyle that, that, that saves the world from a lack of sustainability and it, and, and it brings a better quality of life to these people compared to whatever the status quo that they fail to defend. So for all these reasons why we strongly urge a con ballot. Thank you. All right, um, Crossfire. Yeah. I believe it's my first question. So time starts now. According to bcpod.com and CCPA, California Consumer Pri Privacy Act, the IP address isn't considered as personal data, but more likely to be a, a actually. A, so, how can you respond to that? Okay, if home ad if your home address is considered personal data, then why is an IP address? Actually, first, because we don't know who owns this kind of IP or this kind of device, because IP address is clearly linked you to do. your device, but not you the do person. Know who owns this IP address? It links directly to your computer using triangulation. No, that is how that is that is how you track down where people are making calls and where people are searching things. No, actually, and why the companies know you a lot? Like where you like why you are making decisions? Because you have already given your personal data, like names and also addresses and also phone numbers to the uh, to the companies. That is where the companies know your personal data. They yeah, doesn't know your personal data through IP address. I don't think we need an IP computer. address. Isn't the personal data according, That's according to my okay? Thank you. Let's move on from this. I don't think that we need any more clarification yeah, on question. this. I have question. a question now. I have a question yeah. now. So Please. why why don't why aren't you on the side of cheaper healthcare for these vulnerable people? Because we said that if we if we are raising the price of healthcare, more people cannot afford. And according to my evidence, that half of the U.S. citizens they doesn't have the health insurance, which means that actually they cannot they already cannot afford healthcare. And you, when you improvise true. personal data and your, and your health, not actually true. the price will double on and triple. House, on their side of the house, they need to pay for these doctors' expensive salaries. These doctors are earning more than private yeah. practices. So you, but you are saying you are saying like to let AI uh, like to be totally instead of the doctor. For our side of the house, the AI will be much more efficient and even cheaper, which means people don't even need to go through the exploitations of insurance companies. Okay, are you finished? Several responses. First, actually AI is exacerbating medical errors three times more than the common diagnosis, and that is the problem. And second, we, are, we give you the evidence that only the, even the most like 
accurate me medical data is around 50% of accuracy. So our opponents are actually gambling with patients' life for the 50 chance of accuracy. That is totally immoral. We're not gambling with the patient's life. We're giving them more yeah, affordability. Actually, you you, did, more you haven't noticed that there's, a, there's a bound this dirty data in the database, which has influenced the decisions of the AI. And according to New Yorker, that is what I've said. They only have the 50 chance of accuracy. These, so actually, can totally I please respond? Clarification. Can I please respond? OK. Uh, We've already what? told you that Google is already researching into self-correcting AI and self-learning AI, okay. which means so that what is the response? Does, has Can, you the data being corrected? Can you please let me finish clarifying? Thank okay. you. First, now uh, constructive speech. We have told you that the data Excuse is me. really, really hard to be inflamed because Excuse as the data accumulated, we don't know which is Excuse we don't know the actual quality of the personal data. And moreover, Excuse you said about Google is going to, but how is AI is better in the long term? now? We don't know the. Okay. Uh, can you please check uh, pro uh, opposition's card on the AI has three times more error than humans? Okay. Are you using your prep time to chat our card? Oh no, I think prep time only starts after you send me the information and I start reading it. All yeah. right, send, the send it to you. Please check it in, the, right. uh, in the chat box. Great, sorry, what did you, you send it in the chat box? Yeah. And the Wait, but the, when you go on the page, it says, box. oops, 404 error. When you go on the page, it says, really? oops. Uh, wait, 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 I believe, uh, sorry, sorry. That's not a complete website. Wait, wait, sorry. Um, do you have VPN or, oh, sorry, yeah, uh, we lost some um, dot HTML, dot HTML. So I believe it's your prep times, ready? Wait, wait, no, 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 let me first get on the website. Uh, okay. It still doesn't work. Whatever. Yeah, it still doesn't work. Wait, um. Do you need the word or the card? No, I, I need the website. Yeah, the website is here. It's the website. website. Really, Which really. Is, can you, like, from, from what I'm looking at right now, it does, still doesn't open up. Like, it's still um, full of error. Do you have a VPN on? Maybe it's a technique problem caused by personal data. No, I, I have a yeah, VPN I, on. I'm in a place that I don't even need VPN for any website. So this website. Um, wait, can you check it again? Sure, it's still full of uh, error. Wait. I'm sorry, and maybe some technical yeah, problems. Fine. Can you like just show you the evidence? Okay, sure. Can you screenshot the the uh, website? Then? Uh, be... wait, wait, wait. Like, don't don't send me like words. Send me like the the actual page. You're refusing our. You're refusing our evidence. Wait, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm totally respecting. It. I'm just saying, like, I, I want to have a look. So, can you send me the screenshot? Um, of the website? it may be, it, it may cost some time because we okay, didn't. Sure. Oh, sorry. Can you send me the website? Yeah, this is the website. Yeah. So, like the, a wait. screenshot of the website. Yeah. Okay. I'm please give us some time. Yeah. Sure. Don't worry about it. Do I need to share my screen? Sure, because the problem is using what the words that you send me when I put it into Google, nothing pops up. All right, we know, we get it, okay. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, I just wanted to check your card. Of course. Because I'm using two separate computers, so it may take a little time. Okay. Yeah, don't worry. Take your time. Uh, 
Uh, do you need to share your screen? Yeah. Okay, so... Um, um, I believe we can just... Yeah, this is the original website. Oh, yeah. Wait, yeah, this yeah. is predictive yeah. policing. Yes. Wait, no? No, 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 no. Uh, wait, it's related uh, with AI. If you, like, like log in. Let's don't, let's don't, like, log in. Let's don't, like, spend a lot of time on this. Wait, no, 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 sorry. Oh. This is this is completely irrelevant. Like, I don't see the words three times more inaccurate, and I don't see the word medical healthcare in this in the document. In the that that That's not the right link, I think. Okay, yeah. Don't worry, then. Have a please, please just yeah. Please. Great. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm still unable to access it. When I go in, it just says status quo, 400 error, bad request, message, child. Why? Et cetera. Wait, wait, because okay, like, my, pa my partner yeah. has two computers and it may be a difficult to operate. I yeah, also, judges, judges, it'd be great if you could also check if these websites work. Because it doesn't work for my partner. Yeah, no, it doesn't work with VPN or without VPN. How do you show pictures in the chat box? Um, you can upload a file, I think. We have the screenshot. Actually, in this web, in this website, no, there we, is a yes, but I cannot download it down because we have, I've already seen it in the in my. Yeah, um, you can. I think you can control P, uh, command or control P and then save it as a PDF. Control yeah. P. Yeah, command or control P. All right. It's print. Yeah, and then when in the print option, select the printer to save as PDF. Save as PDF. Okay. It's loading. Yep. Take your time. So I can share my screen. Okay, great. But if that's the case, can you just show like the, the actual website if you're sharing your screen? Yeah. I'm okay. using it, it, it shows that it's the actual I, I see yeah. it. Oh, you can hide it now. Yeah. Okay. Can you do my, my oh. Oh, I believe <laughs> it's wait, wait, wait. I can show you the website. Mm -hmm. Um, wait a sec. Uh, one nine one. Oh, wait, one nine five. One zero zero zero. Okay. One nine five. 
try this one. Okay. Uh, yes, it loads, but there is nothing that even mentions 3% according to Control F. That Three is times. downloading PDF. Uh, a... All right, I think we can move on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. Sorry for. On the corner, time. there's downloading PDF, and, and in the PDF, there's the number. Okay. Um, right. I don't. I don't. I don't think I see it. Please judge. Uh, check it as well. I don't think anything pops up when you command F and search three times or. Um, just like it, even the word three in general. Okay. I don't know what happens if I can't like right, your wheelchair. I can't actually send it to you. Uh, I, th right. I I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Not, um, let's I. just move on, please. Okay, okay. I believe it's my time for a summary, right? Yep. Yeah. Um. Okay. Everyone ready? Judge ready? Opponents ready? So my three minute summary starts now. As the first speaker of the content, now I'm going to start my summary by restating the burdens. The pros burden is to prove the collection of personal data is safe and has overwhelming benefits on all aspects. The cons burden is to prove overall harm caused by personal data. The first question is, I want to have a clarification on dirty data. Dirty data is a database that contains errors. The root of wrong decisions made by human is the wrong database. So please don't ignore this and don't say, oh, dirty data is caused by human errors because it's a wrong database. Okay. So then let's talk about clashes during the previous debate. First, logic related with evidence. My opponent can provide data showing how the a person, use of personal data is contributing to a healthcare system. What the debate is about is facts and status, status quo. And the pros have failed to prove safety problems. In fact, the safety of personal data can't be guaranteed because a 2017 survey of healthcare providers found just 16% reported are having a fully functional cybersecurity program. So our opponents fail to guarantee the benefits on each individual when the wrong data exists in the healthcare system. However, we the concept has provided concrete evidence with actual harm. Like according to Rat State com approximately 10.1 million pe people's information were sold on the dark net web and the u.s federal trade commission found that one data broker alone has 3,000 pieces of data on nearly every person in the united states and in the u.s alone there are up to 4,000 data broker companies you can simply know the huge result by multiplying the two data together so we win in this clash for uh evidence and logic. And it leads to the second clash about impact. My opponent said that crime prevention is enhanced first about terrorism. So actually, we don't know what is terrorism actually related to each person, just say in China, like you and me. Uh, so, uh, so their impact for terrorism prevention is too low. Second, crimes. However, what is the main reason causing the decline of crime rate? According to the Forbes, experts argue that crime rates fall when economic conditions improve and rise when the economy sours. Another argument is that death penalty deters criminals. So personal data is actually only a one tiny part of this and the impact is too low. So we were in this clash. Third, about human rights. A report published by the Senate Commerce committee said the nine big tech giants are targeting poor consumers by grouping them based on their financial vulnerability and economic status. Clearly, my opponents don't care about the vulnerable consumers who are preyed by the tech companies. That's a key issue. And the pro only cares about the profits, but we, the concept, are caring about the human right for either the poor or the wealth. And they drop our smart city impact. Let's not avoid the fact that 10 million people, poor people, are being displaced in the status quo. They totally didn't respond to our impact. We agree that there are benefits caused by personal data. However, uh, actually, since it's an ill-gotten game, actually the benefits and money are obtained by the harmful use of personal data. So why the smart city is good? Because it is only good for when the rich people like, are living and without the poor people. So judge, we the concept are asking for the protection of human rights. So please vote for us. Thank you very much. Um, may I please have, sorry, uh, may I please take um, 20 seconds of prep time. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, all right. Um, 
my speech starts now. Before I begin, I would just like to say that the opposition has pretty much no credibility in this debate. They flash out a lot of really random arguments saying, you know, the AIs make 50% errors, that AIs are three times more inaccurate than human beings, and however, cannot justify this, right? So I believe that a lot of the arguments that they've actually brought up and the evidence are in fact false, right? But let's actually engage them. Judge, the reason why we're able to even have this debate today is because of the internet. It's because you and I are both on this internet competing against each other and judging each other and having an exchange of knowledge, right? This is what the personal data does to the community, right? But moreover, on this point about like IP, they seem to, for some reason, say that IP isn't a personal address, right? Look, if I started to, if I started a shooting right now, right, the police would be able to catch who I am because, you know, he knows where I live. Similarly, if you start going on illegal websites right now, guaranteed, within a couple of hours, the Chinese police department will show up in front of your house because your IP address translates to where you are, right? This is the reason why we have, you know, like some form of VPNs in the first place, right? So, but moreover, right, we tell you that this, in fact, definitely counts as personal data. Okay, now let's look at their point on data leaks, right? First of all, they missed a very, very big link between why data link, why data link exists and why it's harmful. They tell you, no, data gets leaked. They never tell you the effects of this. They never say, like, what's so bad about data leaking, right? And we tell you there actually isn't that much that is so bad in the short term. But moreover, we tell you that in the long term, this problem will be solved. For instance, it's already the May of 2020. And so far, we've seen zero breach breaches from Facebook after they were fined $5 billion last year. We tell you that these errors are easily closed downable. And because of this, these data breaches will not happen in the future, right? And even as of now, they fail to tell you, you know, why it's actually a bad thing. But moreover, onto this point about smart cities. We just don't get this point, right? We tell that urbanization has lifted millions of people who live in rural areas out of poverty, right? We tell that, for instance, millions of people are lifted out of poverty because of Taobao, right? Because they've started their own enterprises and et cetera, right? And we don't see how smart cities is bad. But moreover, on this point about like, you know, why people are just randomly moving away, we tell this started to happen in the 1970s and it is a lot worse, right? Back then compared to now because there's a difference, there's a uh, imbalance of knowledge, right? But let's look at the point about data, uh, dirty data. This is incorrect for two reasons, right? First of all, we've already told you that Facebook, Google, and all of these big corporations already have self-cleaning softwares, right? They can easily identify which data is dirty because, you know, they can look at all the data and say, whoa, this one is an anomaly, and therefore, it's a dirty data. This already exists. They never respond to this point, right? So we tell you in the long term, the dirty data wouldn't harm these people at all. But moreover, you know, even if there was dirty data in the short term, right, humans also have dirty data. Just because you look at the data and make the judgment yourself doesn't mean you you don't get confused by all the dirty data, right? So it's no worse under our side of the house. Now onto the point about like uh, actually benefiting people. First of all, we tell you that 190 billion US dollars of taxes was avoided in the year 2019 alone. This means 190 billion dollars that was meant to go to the city citizens could not have gone to them. And we will be solving this. Moreover, healthcare will allow these people actually receive sufficient treatment for low cost, which they never ever engage on by explaining the mechanism oh, through why it becomes all the reasons about very proud to oppose, uh, sorry, propose the motion. Thank you. Ground crossfire. Yep. Everyone ready? Opponents ready? So our time starts now. So I believe I, we can ask the first question. So you said that uh, you can solve the dirty data. So how many percentage of dirty data can you solve? And we are asking for like uh, the existing data because according to our statistics and evidence, the best data analytics company only has a 50% of accuracy rate in data. Look, right, first of all, like your data is all over the place. Sometimes you say it's three times worse. Sometimes you say it's 50% less accurate. No. But what we tell you is that Google already has a AI building AI that improves itself, right? We already see this existing under the status quo. So we don't get this so point. So how about, many you know, like, data are existing because a yeah, we are discussing on facts. What do you mean? How we many data? We have fifty percent accuracy, right? So you how will the data benefit? Uh, uh, wait. Uh, okay. okay look, first, look. Our points are telling you that if we can prove, actually, okay. our points are we're telling you that. Yes. Sorry, can you please answer the question? Only fifty percent of. Please answer the question. Okay, your question. You have answered that. No, we. No, you didn't get our answer. Our answer is that. Well, no, yes. no, we get that. Really, we get that. Okay, sure. Yeah. Then I believe it's our time to ask you a question then. All right, thanks a lot. All right. right, so look, we tell you that right now, 190 billion US dollars of taxes get avoided every year. If this money goes to the poor people within society, doesn't this benefit them a lot more than say like- How will, this, how will, this, how will this money go into poor people? We're not discussing about the theoretical thing. We need evidence, right? 
Actually, what? Right? these are only helping. These are only helping the uh, the rich people, and actually the medical. How are they helping the rich people? The hospitals. How are they helping the poor people? These cost. These kind Guys, of costs are not. Only the one of you talk. I, I can't hear what you're saying. saying. I can't hear what the two of you are saying if you speak simultaneously. Sorry, I we can't tell you that you. already under the status quo, certain governments are implementing this policy, and we tell you that 190 Implement. billions of dollars are lost each year, right? If we're able to get this what money back, then give this back to the okay. poor people, then okay. this would benefit them so much more than, say, you know, the harms that you bring about... However, the government is not... However, the government, the government, the government is not technology have... companies, and, and it has nothing to do with personal data, right? And yes, for, your, for your... For your summary, you said that the police department can... Sorry, is that my yes, question? Yes, it does. It has everything to do with personal data. No, no, no. I believe that's my question time. Just please, okay, you, you let me that. ask a question. Okay. You need to. So I want let to ask, ask a question. question. Does one hundred? Uh, my partner can. And ninety million. Does one hundred ninety million dollars trickles down to the poor, or just stays? Oh, one hundred ninety billion dollar, not one hundred ninety million oh, no, 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 billion dollars. We so tell you that this down. money goes directly to the poor. Why is this the case, right? So because public scale. taxes. And the matter of the if you want me to answer, you need to let me answer. Okay. If you're trying to make a statement, then it's not the right time to do so. We tell you that this money goes to the poor. Why, right? Because tax money is directly going to building schools, building hospitals that end up helping the poor. Versus like, you know, However, the you cannot ignore the, the, the fact of 10 million people being displaced, right? You cannot ignore the fact that... They're already getting displaced and will get worse under your side of the house. You're just going to listen to my summary clearly, right? You, you can just ignore the fact that 10 million poor people are being displaced. Okay, time. All right, um, final focus. Uh, we'll use all of our prep time, thank you. All right, running now. That's time. Okay, so judges read, opponents read, my final focus starts now. So at the end of the debate, the pro side promised to give a better world by building infrastructure, by like crime prevention, and public health, but they failed to do this at the end of the debate. So let's some uh, end. But on our side, we have talked about a disastrous information leakage that actually millions of information leakage is happening and actually it is harming everyone re resulting in the loss of 15.4 billion dollars and also 10.1 million people are being infected and their human rights and dignity are being harmed because of because of the personal data being sold to the uh to the to the, the to the data market for se se for sex trafficking human money laundering black market harming the human and that and so on actually this is the unique harm but what uh, what is our opponent's response to that they're saying that in the future, we will have responses, and they're talking about Google's response. But however, we need to see the status quo. Are, the, are these kind of responses effective? No, they're not solving the problems in the status quo. And our second contention is talking about gentrification, about the build of smart cities, actually results in 10 million people's 
being flowed and being driven out of the smart cities. Why? Because of the prices, of, because of the prices of living standard increased. So the poor people cannot bear the, the price and also the housing pro problems. So actually this is the real problem because it's harming the most vulnerable people. Now our third condition talks about dirty data. So all of their, actually the, the data analytics are based on dirty data. So all of their uh, just conditions and their results are dramatically being right, ignore, ignoring the kind of dirty data existence. But let's move on to their connection. Their first connection talks about IP addresses. Good. Let's judge. We have told you that according to CCAM, the, the IP address actually it isn't personal data. And the second connection about crime prevention, but we are telling you that 33% of the people are being falsely accused to the jail. And moreover, they're exacerbating the discrimination. The third connection, public health. We're telling you that even the most accurate, like, uh, data analytics only have 50% of their accuracy. What about the rest of 50%? They're just gambling the life of the patients. But what we are talking about is, I think the Contra win this debate. Thank you. All right, thank you. Um, Prosad? Please ask for all of our remaining prep time. Thank you. All right, um, 51 seconds running now. All right, that's time. Okay, judge ready, opponents ready. My time starts now. Before I move on to Wayne, let me just clarify that they don't provide mechanisms to AI bad and healthcare improvements. They're just stating facts and you'll be looking through your flow and wondering at their points. So what? They don't bring you any impacts of their harms, so only regurgitate evidence throughout the debate. But let's weigh this debate now. Without the use of personal data by tech companies in cons world, none of the existing infrastructure that we can now use like food delivery, online shopping, e-banking, tax evasion, identification, and crime prevention will exist. You can't even go onto the internet because it relies on IP addresses as the EU Commissioner's Office defines and so, and it considers personal data in the GDPR launched by the EU. The internet has helped so many people out of poverty and benefited democracy because people can express and exchange their ideas more. However, on pro's world, not only do we get to enjoy these uh, existing infrastructures, but also AI will improve our quality of life. As my first speaker already mentioned, an increase in diagnosis efficacy, as well as an improvement in crime prevention, including tax evasion. My first speaker already told you that the IRS has an estimated tax gap of $381 billion in 2019, meaning that $318 billion worth of taxes has been invaded. Furthermore, from 8, October 2013 to December 2016, they investigated just over 22,000 of these incidents involving American businesses. Without the use of personal data, this is nearly impossible. In total, they saw losses approaching $1.6 billion. With AI, white collar crimes, and other any other crime on pro's world will be addressed much better than in cons, because as we see, the Center of Investigative Reporting was able to identify almost 400 current and retired law enforcement officials who were members of private Facebook Confederate, anti-ism, misogynistic, or anti-government militia groups. In cons world, this will only be perpetuated, and innocent teenagers will be persecuted by the color of skin because of the ideological corrupt law and forces. Moreover, with cons objection against tech and health, Care, poor and vulnerable, less e socially economically advantaged people will not be able to afford. Yes, there may have been leakages, but since there may have been data breaches, but since Facebook got fined five billion dollars, there have been no future breaches because five billion was a severe precedent. And on our side, smart cities can help poor people, the people who are displaced, create jobs. Judge, because personal data is the cornerstone of modern infrastructures like the internet, and it improves our lives, we will urge a pro ballot. Thank. You. All right, um, thank you both sides. Now the judges and myself will take a few minutes to make our own decisions. So just stay tuned and we'll let you know when we make our decisions.
Hey, uh, Sandra, are you done with your decision? Already voted on the uh, mini program. Um, yeah, sir, I don't see it. So I guess we can just go individually one by one. So I'll start off. Um, in the end, I voted for pro. Okay, then, well, I voted for pro as well. did you hear me yeah um yeah that's right okay voted for corn Um, my ballot goes to pro. Okay, yeah, he is also pro. All right, um, I didn't hear the last judge, but he said in the group chat that he also voted for pro. Can we give individual feedback or? Yeah, um, I think we can just go in order one by one because that's what I did before as well. Um, so overall, I, I guess I can go first. Overall, I thought that was actually a really good debate between both sides. Um, both Khan and Pro, I felt like, were excellent debaters. So um, big up to that. Um, so overall, I think that all of us can agree that some parts of this debate were a little messy, especially the evidence exchange section of this. So um, yeah, I would just advise trying to clean that part up a little bit. Either have like a PDF copy of all your evidence, or at least have some format of like a more concrete form that you can latch onto. Um, however, overall, um, con side, I felt like you guys did pretty well overall in the crystallization element. I especially liked how you guys were able to give me some really, you know, concrete impacts about information data leakage. Um, so you got the financial side, you have like $15.4 billion. You also have lives, um, saving 10.1 million livelihoods. And I thought that this was really good, but um, that was like the only impact you guys could really latch onto. The other ones about human trafficking, um, gentrification and dirty data I felt like were too vague and far-reaching for me to really latch onto as a reason for me to vote for you so essentially what I boiled down to was if I vote for your world we get some semblance of privacy and the elimination of this issue of data leakage as we just don't feed data into the system anymore but essentially pro gives me a better reason to vote for their world because they're essentially saying that um, they're essentially giving the disadvantage an opportunity to kind of move up the social mobility ladder. So while um, Khan might say, um, you know, we're causing gentrification and we are causing these um, personal data issues, um, what basically Pro is saying is that these issues shouldn't matter as long as we're improving the general livelihoods of these individuals. So we're reducing crime, we're offering people the opportunity to grow in these smart cities, we're offering them a chance at life through better healthcare and stuff like that. And we also like clean up tax evasion. And overall, just this opportunity to essentially ascend the social ladder is more than enough for me to vote for a pro world. But overall, guys, like I said before, you guys are both amazing and I know you guys will go far in the future. So congratulations, both teams. Okay, so um, my decision also goes to the proposition side, basically because I feel like on the con side, you have robust arguments since the first place, but you don't really extend them into a substantive amount that kind of can answer the pros of uh, general provisions for AI development, and you need a more systematic framework to kind of um, kind of counter the arguments about AI and algorithms imp improvement. Everybody knows that machine learning can be a really vague and kind of advantageous term to the proposition side, and you need to be like. Um, strategically countered that like when they first came up with the idea and the final comparison for me comes to the security argument like admittedly the con team provides uh, analysis about like 
marginal risks, but the general improvement for security of society kind of favored the post side because it don't tell us like the systematic risk or the systematic jeopardy for the public welfare that are caused by data privacy problems. So um, like the mere claims that you want to say, like um, the proposition is gambling doesn't really amount to a uh, substantial level so that my vote goes to the proposition side because they are providing valid solutions to the status quo, which sounds um, not comprehensive, but that can be um, a very optimistic way for the public to choose to. That's why I voted for a pro side. Yeah, I guess I'll just go. Okay, so I... Okay, Sandra, you can go ahead. I'll be the oh, last one. No. It's all right. Don't worry. You can go ahead. <laughs> oh, I thought we're going in order. Sorry. Okay, so I voted for Corn because probably, I think that all the judges are talking about your, your constructive speech, but I personally didn't hear any. I was trying to like get an understanding of what you meant by the topic sentences you sent to me. However, I based my decision on how um, each team was able to successfully like rebut um, each other, each opponent's arguments. And I felt that example, like with regards to Quan, let's say the healthcare, they gave me like empirical evidence. They gave me, is it me? Okay. You know, okay. So I felt that they did a very good job at the rebuttal, even though it was, as Richard said, it was a bit messy in regards to like the evidence that you're supposed to provide. But I feel that Quan did a much better job trying to counter and post arguments. With regards to post rebuttal, I, I wasn't really guessing where exactly like you were coming from. And also I felt you were using assumptions. If I'm comparing your public health um, arguments, I felt you were basing your arguments on assumptions as opposed to like, things that were actually happening, things that were like practical and things that I could actually weigh its impact, okay? So I based my, my decision on that because I sort of missed your entire um, constructive speech, I sort of based my um, decision from the crossfire to like the final focus, so yeah. Okay, I guess it's my turn. I'll be the last one. Things uh, Fifth Star said something wrong is with his mic. So probably uh, the debaters can check his ballot later. For me, I vote of pro, but still some um, some feedback to give to the pro side. I don't think like your guys uh, is doing perfect, but of course it's doing excellent job. For example, you didn't really engage with Khan's argument related to their uh, the poverty, the poor people, and the during the crime prediction, there are probably innocent people will be wronged. Actually, this is something I think could be discussed in Crossfire as well, but I didn't hear any discussion related to this point. Since actually in Pro's case, you did mention about uh, they will help the uh, police to use some facial recognition the, uh, technology to predict the crime as well and to stop it before it happening. However, nothing, I, I thought this is a clash since both teams mentioned about crime, but no team are really clashing this point in Crossfire. Uh, I guess you could engage more with this point uh, since this is a direct clash. And the next feedback given to the con uh, is about, well, I think that today, some of your idea is really good, but the problem why you lost is, I think during the crossfire section, you guys are a bit passive, especially uh, in some engagement uh, related to, for example, whether IP address is a personal data or not. So I think the pros responses towards this point by explaining to me what exactly IP address function in our daily life and how are we uh, really using IP address as part uh, of our social, for example, in, on the social media platform, etc. I think this is more persuasive compared to you're telling me that IP address simply linked to the uh, devices, but of course the human beings are the ones who are using devices. So like under this small, small clash, a uh, pro one uh, in my in my ballot, and the second clash in this debate will be about healthcare. Um, just like everyone knows that the, during the evidence checking section, I think uh, Khan are a bit disadvantaged position since you guys failed to provide the evidence in a quick time. Like we wasted around eight or ten minutes in this section. So next time you can prepare more. Uh, the judge already talked about this. So I'm not going to repeat anymore. The third. Clash, I think, in related to this debate is also uh, something about data breach. 
Uh, I like the pros responses towards this point by saying that in the short term, uh, for example, in the late 2020, the accidents reported is zero. And in the long term, the problem is being solved. And this also tackled down cons trying to say the dirty data will cause, uh, for example, um, misdiagnosis without evidence, and, or it will also cause some other uh, less accuracy during this diagnosis procedure, et cetera. I think pros analysis by telling me the solutions with the facts to support their idea is also very persuasive. So this is a feedback that I also the reason why I voted for pro. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, are there anything else, host? Oh, uh, no, we can leave now. So thank you. Thank you for judging. Thank you for judging. Bye. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Bye.